Hello everybody, it is February 14th, Valentine's Day! It is 2.26 p.m. and we're gonna check our mailbox. Oh, look at all those Valentines we got today. Mmm, museum is so hot. Oh, Matil Matilda moved? Dearest Colin, during my entire move, I was sure I was forgetting something. You know what it was? I forgot to say adieu to you. I hope this letter will ease your devastation. All the best, Matilda. You didn't even sign for Hank? I don't care that Matilda's gone, but Hank? Oh man. Do we have anybody that took her place already? Actually, no. Wait. No, that actually, we don't have a new villager yet, so no one's replaced Matilda. Matilda used to live over here in D5 with little Hank. Uh, Matilda, fun fact, was the first villager to move into our village. That was not like already living here when we got here, so. Farewell, Matilda. I will miss you and Hank, but mostly Hank. Now I feel bad that we sold the slot machine she gave us. That was like her goodbye gift. One of her slot machines, and I sold it. Man, I feel like a dick now. has a gambling problem. Her and her son have a gambling problem. Um, I don't like how I don't like how quiet her house is. Oh, all cherries. Maybe that's how she decided to move the cider, because she got all cherries on these slot machines. She's like, gosh, I moved to a town of cherries. What? I just tried to tickle her out her couch. Well, good morning to you, too. I may be wrong, but isn't this the first time you've met Wee Baby? My name is Matilda. I've been nice. Oh, it's been nice meeting you, Wee Baby. You're so crazy. Well, too bad for you. I lent it to Matilda. Oh, no! Where are we gonna find Matilda? Hey, Matilda! <laughs> she, like, literally walked up to us. Matilda, looking good in something that's not your fucking other shirt. Uh, what's up? Let's try a lucky bag game. This is always fabulous. Yeah, this is how you get me to hate you. The bags contain either a pop bloom shirt or a pear. <laughs> it's gonna be the. It's gonna be the left one. Yes, oh, I picked the right one. You fucking bitch. I know, I know, I know, I know I shouldn't. Oh my god, that fucking audio spike. I am gonna use this on you. Uh, you are automatically. That is a crime in my village to offer me a fruit that I need and not give it to me. We're gonna dig up the money she was hiding in her front lawn. <laughs> That's the biggest prank. And we want to make this to where she can't go too far that way. She only, we want to make sure she only has some directions to go. We want to limit where she can move to. And I, Holy shit, Matilda. Are you just hiding, burying money in your front lawn or something? Is this all the slot machine money? Is this where you're hiding it? All right. <laughs> yeah, that teaches you. Sorry, little Hank. Look at poor little Hank. He's like, why, mother? Why have you forsaken me? Look. Look. You withheld a pear from me. A pear. That is the forbidden fruit of our kingdom. I needed that fruit. Do you understand how important that fruit was to me? It was very important. The pear is symbolic to Animal Crossing and to me and my relationship with Animal Crossing. The pear was the first ever fruit I had in an Animal Crossing game. Do you understand that? Here's your organizer. Can I have some stationery, please? I don't believe it. You actually managed to get my organizer back. Impressive. Most impressive. You're incredible. You may take the stationery. Dude, called it. I was like, I know what villagers suck. <laughs> Thank you. Did you know you can get a strike that time? Can you believe it? Imagine if I did, though. If I gave you a strike, you would be at strike number two. And no one's been at strike number two. 
I'm gonna sell it to you, but let's make it fun. Now let's see. First decided if we'll pay 620 bells for improved decor. Sure. Well, aren't you crazy? I'm quite the high roller. I shall now announce the item. It's a slot machine. Yeah? Well, is it a good investment? Yeah, actually, I guess so. I know how much you love slot machines. To come see me next time you need to lighten your financial load. Both by buying slot machines from you and from, what, well, gambling money on them, or what? Oh shit. All sevens, baby. Well, we won't let that ruin our Valentine's Day, because we also have one last hot sexy letter from Happy Room Academy. Okay, well, wasn't very sexy at all. Rude. So rude. I just got a really stupid idea for something to do <laughs> for this video in honor of Valentine's Day. For Valentine's Day in Animal Crossing, we're going to play a game of Fuck, Marry, Kill! So, actually perfectly enough, we have three letters. I'm going to choose three villagers to send a letter to for Valentine's Day, and I'm going to give them each gifts. I'm going to choose who I would fuck. Who I would marry, and who I would kill. Let's go for it. I decided that I would fuck Pippi. <laughs> I, have to, I, I have to censor this letter, but I'll read it. God, I feel so horrible writing that. Alright, who would I marry? That should be obvious. To Lobo, I would marry you if I had to. And finally, who I would kill. To Anacardi, I would burn you at the stake, you foul evil witch. Those are probably the most delightful letters I've ever written. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and do a loop-de-loop -loop back this way. I know, it seems kind of pointless. I want to go see if there's anything at the dump, and hopefully there's some stationery at the dump. Okay, thank you. So that way we actually could uh, get some fossils. Bear shirt. Uh, I'm about to make my way over there anyways. Oh, I just realized Tom Nook's not going to be selling. He's only going to be selling wallpaper. So I got to like try really hard for gifts now. Alright, so Tom Nook I think is having a sale right now on wallpapers. Welcome. Aren't you lucky we just happen to be having a special event today? Free balloons for everyone. Oh, I got another balloon. Oh, please tell me it's like pink or red. It's a green balloon. Dude, I got a green balloon. I got a purple balloon. Getting all the balloons. Alright, what wallpapers are you selling? Old brick wall. Don't want that. A parlor wall. Definitely don't want that. Well, thanks for uh, getting rid of your entire inventory so I can't buy something actually worth buying. Later. I wonder if uh, Tortimer is like, outside today for Valentine's Day. I mean... I think Valentine's Day is just like kind of like a spoken holiday in Animal Crossing. I don't think there's actually something that goes on today. But uh, we'll find out for sure when I get my way down to the wishing well. I had to, I had to fight my way through that sentence. Oh, I have to sneeze. <laughs> oh my god, it's like every other episode I'm sneezing nowadays. Are you okay, Puck? Is there is there a spooky bug right there? There you go. Go have fun. The Lost and Found is a good place to get gifts. Look at this. There's two furniture items, so these could for sure be gifts. A green lamp. Good. Good. What's this? A teacher's chair. Alright. And what are these? Noble shirt. Trash shirt. I'll probably get these tomorrow to sell. I'm not really going to worry about them right now. This is a good shirt. Nope, it's not a good shirt. We have both of those shirts. Alright. So, since we got us a new balloon, I'm going to go ahead and hold the green balloon. And I'm going to shake some trees in the hopes that we can get some furniture. I need one more furniture item to mail off for Valentine's Day. Teacher's chair I'll give to Peppy. Green lamp, I'll give to Anacardi. 
because you know a lamp might like fall over in the middle of the night and like start a fire and then she would actually burn at the stake kind of oh perfect that did not take long a space station why the fuck was there a space station whatever i'm gonna give it to lobo in the hopes that he can get it running and send it to space so we can live off happily ever after i guess our last interaction with um, matilda was a good one let's talk hey hey you don't you can't be here you can't be here nope get away get away Nope, you can't be here. Stop. No trespassing. Let's go ahead and uh, block this off. Yeah, nothing over there. What, what'd you see? What'd you see? No, I don't want any. I'm telling you for the last time, you foul creature. Go. Jesus. Oh, wait. It's just you. I thought it was another one of those weirdos hanging out tissues. That's weird. Uh, you need help with something? Oh, he does. All you have to do is take this to tank. Piece of cake, huh? See, this is Tank's picture book, but it somehow ended up at my place. Yeah, I know it's not the most interesting favor, but what will you want? What do you want from me? Will you do it? Sure. Wah! If you're gonna do this, then get going. It's all you, I smell. Uh, have we seen Tank today? Yeah, we did. He's over by his house. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Give Tank his picture book. Why it was at Chuck's place, I don't know. What kind of pictures are in it? I don't know. We uh, only have our imaginations to uh, think of what he may have had in that picture book. It's just like pictures of his horn. It's like the rhinoceros equivalent of a dick pic. Wow, this was the money rock yesterday. So how I spent my val- I guess I'll talk about my Valentine's Day. I spent my Valentine's Day... Um, I, I bought some wine. And... What did we eat? This week my girlfriend and I drank wine, ate some food, and watched, um... Oh, someone's on my door. I don't really remember that. Well, speaking of my girlfriend, she just got a package in the mail. I'm pretty sure it is a rocket. She loves rockets. If you know what I mean. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we watched, um... I know what she did last summer while drinking some wine, and I can't remember what we ate. What did we eat for dinner? Was it chicken? No... I don't think it was pizza. I think we planned on pizza, but I don't think we ate pizza. Anyways, we just had a nice chill night watching a movie, drinking some wine, eating some food. I already got the money rock. I literally just got the money rock on him. What are you doing? That was my Valentine's. What's up? Boy, howdy, Colin. You're looking like a picture of health. Pal, you look great. Huh? Not as great as I do? Well, what an odd thing to say. Anywho, you probably want something. No, I don't. I want to give you something. Look at the snowball. Bye, snowball. I want to give you something. Here is your picture book of all your horns. My picture book, my picture book, my most treasured picture book. Oh yeah, it's definitely his uh, horn pics. I sure was, I'd forgotten it and was heading over to Chuck's place to reclaim it. That's what you call great timing. Kerpow! This is my favorite outfit, but you can have it. Kerpow! I bet I'll look, it'll look good on you too. Please tell me it's a number one shirt. He just has nothing but number one shirts. That'd be great. Is it the five ball? Yeah, it's the five ball shirt. Why is that your favorite shirt? You just wear a number one shirt all the time. <coughs> oh god, burp. I've been chugging a lot of water. Because I'm phlegmy today. I hope I'm not- Did I just... I like to kick snow into... Oh, <laughs> the ocean, that's cool. Uh, I don't know, I've been phlegmy today, I don't know why. I'm sneezy, obviously. I don't think I'm sick. I hope not. I just got done being sick like a month ago. I'd be super annoyed if I was sick again. I did just like interact with one of my friends recently who was sick, so I guess it's possible. Jesus Christ, please. I just want to apologize ahead of time, Pippi. I didn't mean what I said in that letter you're about to get. I did it for the lols. So, pl just please don't hold that against me. Uh, I don't, Do you have a job for me? Oh, you do? You know Rhoda, don't you? Well, I meant to go ask that moocher for my comic book back. If you had to be going to Rhoda's house, could you pick it up for me? Sure. I'll go get it. I'll go get it. Hello, Rhoda. Well, it's Colin. How are you this fine day, Clucky? Are you eating properly? I'll have you know that I recently gave up on my diet. Yes, I'm not ashamed, though. I mean, honestly, it's my own loss if I ruin my body, right? And besides, I'm cute enough as I am. Hee 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 hee, right, Clucky? Uh, you look like a clown still, but uh, I'm just here to get a comic book. Ah, uh, you're gonna make me talk to that witch? 
I already mailed off my letters, which means she might have gotten it, and now she might be trying to, like, murder me. Which I kind of deserve, I guess, but hey, witch. Hey, wait up a second. Where are you going? By gum, I'm making it my business. I know. I'm not, I swear I'm not sneaking around trying to murder you. I'm actually worried you're sneaking around trying to murder me. No, anyways, comic book? Lay, god damn it. Call me flaky all you want, but you still have to go see Lay about it. You know how much I don't like to go ask Lay for things. She knows me too well and she's only been here like a week. So how was all y'all's Valentine's Day spin? Honestly, I don't really care much for Valentine's Day. Which is why my girlfriend and I didn't really do anything too special. But, uh... You know, maybe you did something to treat yourself. Where am I going? Lay it down. Maybe you uh, met that, you talked to that girl or guy you liked and you guys saw a movie? Like, how, how was it? Was it horrible? You could have a horrible Valentine's Day. There's nothing wrong with that. I guess I could share a Valentine's story. I have. Let me, let me just get this, uh, this comic book back and I'll tell you guys the Valentine's story from a long time ago. Alright, cool. So one time, in 8th grade, I had this crush on this girl. I had this huge crush. Uh, let's give her a name that's not her actual name. We'll call her... We'll call her... I'll call her I need a name that's not similar. We'll call her... Claire. We'll call her Claire. It's definitely not her name. So... In 8th grade, I had this huge crush on this girl named Claire. She was kind of like scene emo looking, but not like too much. But like it was attractive to me, and then like she had a really nice voice that I really liked. That was attractive to me. She was really skinny, she had like really beautiful blue eyes. And I was like, yeah, I like this girl. And I sat behind her in English class. And I also sat like a couple rows behind her in a different class. I think it was... Actually, I don't remember what class. I had her in two classes. And I enjoyed just like admiring her and this went on for a couple of months that I like had this crush on this girl and a lot of my friends knew a lot of her friends knew they just kind of knew that I had like a huge crush on her and it was like my entire eighth grade first half of eighth grade was spent like kind of like having awkward like interactions with her or like her friend will call her a uh, celery celery would like be behind me with her like in like line for like lunch and then she would like whisper like that's him that's, that's your stalker and it was just like it went on for like a long time like they knew i liked her and finally on the valentine's day in 2009 i was like you know what i'm gonna do the thing i had her number for some reason i actually don't know how i got a hold of her number now that i think about it it's kind of creepy i had her number i'm sure like one of our mutual friends just like gave it to me as a joke and then i was like yeah, you think it's a joke, but for me, it's serious. And I texted her on Valentine's Day, like, saying, like, Hey, I like you. You know I like you. Do you want to maybe, like, try something? Like, I don't know. I was an awkward 8th grader. And then she replied. And a way that I did not expect was she pretty much said, like, she was flattered, but she's, like, into girls. She was a lesbian. She is a lesbian still. And it was just really funny, and I was really, like, kind of embarrassed. One of my, our mutual friends, I, like, went up to her, and I was like, you didn't tell me she dated women? You know, you knew for months that, like, I liked her, and you didn't tell me she was into women? And she's like, I didn't think about it. And I was just like, what? And it was really funny. And uh, a couple months went by, like, maybe one or two, and uh, a lot of our mutual friends kind of merged into a group and became really good friends. And we're still friends to this day. Hi, Pippi. <laughs> she still loves me and we're friends now, so it worked out. Delivery, here's your comic book. Oh, hey, you got my comic book back. Sweet. If I'd known getting it back was going to be this easy, I'd have gotten it myself. What do you think? Is some furniture a good reward, little hair? Yeah, sure. When you say you're going to do something, right? What if it was the teacher's chair? That would be hilarious. No, it's a gold stereo. Oh my god, I'm going to replace my current stereo with this gold stereo. Let's go talk to Chevre. Not gonna lie, Chevre was uh, almost my first pick for the fuck Mary kill, for the for the fuck part. <laughs> Tr truthfully, I don't think I want to sleep with any of you. You all are all crazy. You you don't fuck crazy. You don't stick anything crazy. 
Hey, what are you doing in a place like this? Did you come here often, little hair? As for me, I'm just having a nice stroll to try to stay in shape, you know. Fitness is important. Uh, I'm bored. The clothes at Tom next door are pretty nice, but the clothes sold by the tailor Agar have not too bad either. Yeah, I, I can tell you're wearing the Fooly shirt. It makes me happy. Did you know I designed that Fooly shirt? No credit to Bruce and me. I made that shirt right there. <laughs> just kidding, Bruce. I'm, I'm kidding, Bruce. Please, please pull back the lawsuit. This probably doesn't go very well with uh, my, my house, but whatever. Alright, so we got five ball I'm going to sell, the bear I'm going to sell. The plush carpet's actually pretty cool. I actually really like it, but we're not going to keep it, unfortunately. And we'll sell the fish, we'll sell our hi-fi stereo, and all these fossils. So let's go sell a lot of shit. It's actually almost three. So... If I play for nine more minutes, I actually might be able to get some stationery from Tom Nook so I can mail off the last fossil. Because I think at three, he's going to end the sale he has going on. Alright, we're actually going to have a hundred thousand bells now. So, with that, we'll go donate. Not donate, we'll deposit our hundred thousand bells. Oh my god. My, you can't carry all that money. You have to pack what you can't carry into money bags. Yes, don't worry. Be at ease. It's free charge. Imagine he charged you for like putting it in money bags. As much as the green balloon, green balloon, what the fuck? The green balloon is cool. I think I prefer a purple one. I kind of want to collect all the balloons now. Imagine if you could like hang these up. Oh my god, you could let them go. <laughs> I don't want to do that because I appreciate my balloons. I wish there was a way I could display them. Actually, you might be able to display them. You might be able to put them down in the house. Alright, I want to mail off these two letters. Let's make a deposit. We have 300,000 bells just in our bank. And let's go ahead and save Matilda's letter so we never forget her. It's going to be hard to forget her, but you know. There we go. I decided I'm going to take this quick parasol and swap it for my blue parasol. Because this twig one's pretty cool. And actually, what parasol do we have in here? Oh, the Nintendo one. Yeah, we'll keep the Nintendo. We'll keep. I was wondering why I had two parasols. These are both good par quality parasols. So we're going to take this. We're going to sell that umbrella. Well, I'll probably do it next time, but uh, I'm going to just stop right here today. I'm going to worry about this fossil tomorrow. Not too worried about it. Um, I'll sell the parasol. We might find a place for the green balloon. I'll hold on to the purple one. Um, hope you guys had a good Valentine's Day, however it was. Hopefully you can look back on it as I look back on my 2000, it was 2009 Valentine's Day. And hopefully you could have a funny story out of it too someday. Because, you know, you might be heartbroken like I was on Valentine's Day 2009. But a couple years, you could be like, man, I asked a lesbian out and she rejected me. And you could be proud of that. And you could be proud that you're friends years later. Uh, also, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. Oh, also that Valentine's Day on 2009 was on Friday the 13th. So I was like, it'd be a good anniversary date, Friday the 13th. Yeah, but it didn't happen. That's okay, though. I'll see you guys on the 15th of February. And yeah, no holiday. Oh, we never went to the... Ba -ba 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 -ba, the... Ch -ch 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 -ch, the wishing well. Might as well go to the wishing well. Let's see, Tortimer's over here. Tortimer? He is here! I almost ended the episode without him. Oh, Colin, now listen close, Sprout. This is just between you and me, but... Chuck's trying to eavesdrop right now. I'm going to be taking an official vacation to this tropical island tomorrow. Oh, the sea turtle. Are you going to fuck the sea turtles? What was I saying? Oh, there's a job I need to do for me. Do you think you can help in order to tortoise at home? Is it going to be the lighthouse again? Sure. There's a good kid calling straight and to the point. I like that about you. <laughs> Here's what I want you to do. From tomorrow until the 21st, I need you to turn on the lighthouse. God damn it. It's simple as all get out. All you have to do is flip the switch anytime between 6 and 10 p.m. I'll be back by the 22nd, so it's fair responsibility, you know, of anyone you can rely on, Insider. 
Because it may or may not be an idea to cooperate with someone to make sure this thing gets done, huh? See, if you manage to do it without missing a single day, I'll give everyone who helped a special present. Yep, yeah, Just don't forget, Colin. Do you understand the gist of what I want you to do? Yeah, I got it. Gravy, I'm counting on you, Colin. Don't let an old tortoise down. Every mare deserves an occasional tropic go frolic with the sea turtles. Remember, Colin, start in the mode. It's all to you, alrighty. I thought he was going to give me, like, a box of chocolates and whatnot, but no, he's just going to have us do his dirty work. Actually, he's going to be doing the dirty work. See, he didn't play fuck, marry, kill. He played just straight up fuck, fuck, fuck with all the sea turtles. I feel like I should censor that just to make it more funny. <laughs> I should just censor a lot of random things in this episode to make things more funny. Or, you know, just censor things that I need to censor because I do need to censor some things. <laughs> Alright, we're going to end off now. See you guys tomorrow on Thursday.